So last week, the Australian newspaper broke the story about how Aboriginal police officers would actually be able to, in Victoria, um, be able to enter private premises and uh, fine people up to $346,000 if something was damaged, uh, Aboriginal artefact or whatever. And they could do this without the permission of the landowner or the, uh, the renter on the space. And these are proposed powers being put in. Since then, last Thursday, um, the video has received almost half a million views across all platforms. And we have just barraged with 80,000 emails all the top MPs in your states. Thanks to you guys. We, I set up a tool which allowed people to email the top 21 MPs in their state government because as we had the overwhelming um, referendum result on The Voice, six state landslide, every state voting no, we do not want this. Um, this many of the state governments have either said, no, we're going to pursue our own state voice, like South Australia. Some have said, no, we're going to continue to pursue our state treaty process like Victoria, and other states like WA and Victoria have basically said, no, we're going to keep pursuing these Aboriginal heritage laws and maybe we'll even look into reparations. And I'm just looking at this and I'm just thinking, is anyone going to set that right? Thankfully, you guys have taken this tool to email your MPs and you've run with it. And we've just unleashed this absolute barrage of 80,000 emails. Now, we're getting some replies back. And the first state was Tasmania, which I'm actually quite surprised. Um, the member of part, the, the, the government in, in Tasmania is a liberal government. It's the last one in the, in the country. And um, one of the people that emailed the Tas Tasmanian officials, they've actually emailed me, um, emailed the person back. And I've got their reply right here. I think the reason why Tasmania replied first is because... Um, they're the, they're the state with the smallest turning point following, and it's probably a bit more manageable to get around to everyone. But despite that, they've actually gone and they've copied the exact same reply and they've sent it to two different people. So it tells me that they've had a big volume of people email them and they're sending the same reply in order to get through all of them, which I understand. So this is the reply that uh, Trudy has actually received from the government official. And um, this is how they've gone about, about saying it. They said, uh, Dear Trudy, thank you for your email and for sharing your concerns with me. On the 15th of October, 2023, the Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe, a Liberal Premier, announced that the state Liberal Party in Tasmania has no intention of pursuing a state-based voice to Parliament. I hope you find this reassuring, but please don't hesitate to reach out should you have any further queries? That's Simon Wood, MP, Liberal member for Bass. Now, now, what does this mean? You're probably, you guys are pretty reasonable, right? You're probably like, oh, Joel, it sounds, you know, fair enough. Um, it sounds like basically they've ditched their plans for, you know, this particular thing. Just, you know, Tasmania voted no. No, guys, read between the lines here. What did we send? I got some kind of black stuff on my eye. What did we send last week? There was a template, and you guys edited the template. We said in the, in the template, I am writing to you today to express my frustration with your government's decision to continue to pursue a state treaty and voice for Aboriginal people. What about the treaty process? What about reparations? What about Aboriginal heritage laws like we've seen in WA and Victoria? So... I've said to Trudy, maybe you should ask about these things and see what they come back with. Because there's no reason, there's no reason why this state member of parliament, Simon Wood, shouldn't have out, outruled both aspects, not just the voice, not just the voice, the treaty. And this is, this is the point, guys. This is the point. I don't trust these people. I don't trust most politicians. You've got to read between the lines sometimes. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Okay. This is from April 17th. This is an article about the Liberal uh, Premier in Tasmania going against Peter Dutton because Peter Dutton opposed the voice. 
Whereas the Premier basically said, no, look, I think maybe we should go with The Voice. This is what, this is what the article said. This article's from Philip Curry and uh, Tom McCroy. Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe has drawn a sharp contrast with Federal Leader Peter Dutton over The Voice to Parliament, saying it was high time the nation tried a different approach to addressing Indigenous disadvantage. Mr Rockcliffe, the nation's only Liberal Premier, said he supported The Voice because it could help tackle such problems as poor education, high rates of imprisonment, low life expectancy and poor employment prospects for Indigenous people. I don't trust this guy. I don't. Until he says and until his actions show that he opposes a voice, that he opposes the treaty process, that there's no way in hell reparations are going to happen and that there's no going to be such Aboriginal heritage laws like we've seen in WA or the sort of uh, op powers that we're seeing the heritage officers being given in Victoria. Until he says that and until he shows that with his actions, I don't trust him. You know, call me, uh, you know, radically sceptical, but the last three years have left me very distrusting of these people. You know, I, Tasmania overwhelmingly voted no. It was, a, it was around 60%. There's no reason why this Premier should be, you know, leaving the door open, and there's no reason why this Member of Parliament, that's emailed Trudy back, shouldn't be able to say with confidence that the treaty process isn't coming in. And so this is my point, guys. You know, it's my job to teach you who's punching you, why are they punching you, and how you can punch back politically. And so I think I'm curious to see what uh, comes back. I'm curious to see what um, is said to Trudy from this Member of Parliament. But uh, very interesting that Tasmania is the first to reply back. The turning point audience in the other states is, is a lot bigger. Um, and I, I think they're just trying to work out how the hell do we reply to 80,000 emails with this this barrage of emails. I, I, I think they're trying to work out what they're going to do, especially in Queensland where it sounds like, you know, they've got an election next year and they really don't want to lose it. And it had the highest no vote. So guys, keep up the effort, keep up the energy. Um, I, I think it's going to be fascinating to see what happens this week. Can we top 100k emails? Can we top 100k emails? If you haven't sent an email yet, head to tbaust.com.au. I've asked that you guys stop donating to that because we've already paid for this particular project. Um, any future donations right now, they're going to go on to the next email campaign or project. So please keep your money where it is. Times are tough. I'm humbled, but um, I want to get a win on this and we've already paid for this. And I just want to be very clear about that. So God bless you guys. Have a good day. Give this a share. Let's see how this week pans out with the particular um, MPs coming back and how they respond to their constituents. And um, I will see you guys later.